Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit like button and subscribe. So Ryan Garcia was recently doing an interview with Brian Custer. And Brian asked him a thoughts about Bernard Hopkins. Because Bernard said that pretty much this fight will decide whether or not Ryan should keep fighting or not. And let me tell y'all what Brian, let me play a clip of y'all what Ryan's response to that was. What the hell does he mean by I'll make a decision? He ain't going to make shit. He can't make shit about me. You know what? This is the crazy thing is, like, I'm going to box my ass off and it's going to be great. And then I'm going to, like, I'm going to box my ass off for a, a, a team that don't even believe in me. But damn, they'll collect that money that I'm making them, though. They collect that $6 million, though. But you don't know if I should box again, but you made that money off that fight, though. Yeah, shut up. Watch. When I win, that's just what it's going to be. They're gonna be I, I'm going to look at them like, bro, don't even mess with me. Don't even mess with me because I'm so sharp right now. I have no I have no worries that I'm going to look great, amazing. They're going to look like, damn. They're going to be like a salty ex. Like, fuck, dude, I wish I stayed with them. I wish I just was nice to them. Why didn't I just speak better to them? Please, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But come back, baby. Come back. Yeah, shut up. Now, I'm just tired. Like, how is your own team talking shit about you? Think about that. No, yeah. think about it. Why would your own team talk shit about you? That makes no sense. Yeah. Why would you do that? It's a good point. So that's Brian's, or part of Ryan Garcia's interview with Brian Custer, go check it out. Yeah, I have to side with Ryan on this one. It's crazy that they said you're up next and they were supposed to be backing you 100%, but when he lost to Tank Davis, they left him. And Oscar tried to say they were getting death threats. And I mean, you got security and y'all at the T Mobile Arena. You can have security and, as I always say, the boys in blue with you. If you was in fear of your life. The reason why they left him was because Floyd and Leonard LB was in there laughing at, at Bernard, laughing at Oscar. Uh, due to the whole build up and, you know, Oscar, he didn't want to face the fact that they took all his fighters. Remember, all everybody was with Golden Boy at one point. The Charlos, Deontay Wilder, Canelo Alvarez. Adrian Broner, you name it, the who's who was with Golden Boy. But what happened was Oscar was too busy having a good time and Al Heyman and Richard Schaefer took the fighters to PPC. And this is crazy that all of those fighters left. I mean, there's so many fighters that was with Golden Boy. And you had your last fighter, your money maker, and just because he took a loss, y'all left him there. And his trainer left him too. So <laughs> I'm not surprised that Ryan is saying the way he, what he's saying. He wants to leave Golden Boy and either go with PVC or do his own thing. Everybody's watching Devin Haney, even though they're hating on Devin. Everybody's watching Devin Haney with, with his co promotions. And now he's one of the highest boxers, one of the highest earners in boxing. So I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, Oscar, they're not going to let him out of his contract unless there's some type of breach. But yeah, I just want to share my two cents with it. I stand with Ryan. Well, that was bogus what they did. That was foul. Le le left him there to do the press conference by himself. But that's just my quick two cents on it. What do y'all think about all of this?